welcome back to my channel it's your girl azine williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video what a day it's been in the big brother niger house another hoh monday nominations black envelope and all of that now as you all already know there was no part of me please we've gone back to default settings yes we had our nominations where housemates will go into the diary room one by one and nominate the housemates or housemates they want to be um put up for possible eviction on sunday yes guys now first we had the head of house challenge which doing won a very big congratulations to doing because this one e choco yes it was a tough one it was a game of endurance the first game was basically about stacking up um bricks so the person that stacks up or the six housemates that stacks up the highest bricks um the fastest time gets to move on to the next level we had mercy doyin um who else i think sheyi ike adzekunle and who else i've forgotten the last person yes guys one by one they all fell off because the second challenge was about endurance at the end of the day it was left between cross and doyin and you know doing was really standing firm at some point cross kind of che cheated because i saw you know when he was trying to use his other leg to um balance his weight yes guys and it was so obvious that cross was going to lose it because he was shaking at some point but doing stand kakaraka like mount everest guys she did not move at some point you could see that she really wanted it she was kind of like telling cross you know what what do you want what do you want me to do for you once i win this head of house you know i might go home if i'm up you will not go home if you're if you're up and all of that at the end of the day cross gave up and doing one it was a well-deserving win because i think they stood there for like 20 or 30 minutes and um that thing hurts because when cross came out his leg was hurting yes guys they had to like massage him and all of that and that was how doing won the hoh and when it was time to pick her bfs for the week that was where the shocker came yes guys she snubbed eleba yeah yes she picked mercy okay because i don't know maybe because they're the two um women that qualified for the second round she also picked cross because i mean she already promised cross two bfs sports and then um to comfort cross or to keep cross company she picked kim opera and then neo for whatever reason did she pick neo i do not know yes guys now because of this thing she did it sparked a lot of controversy on social media people were talking about it and all of that i will come back to that later on in this video but let's move on yes there was a black envelope challenge three envelopes were discovered by venita mercy and prince nelson venita won what's that a riddle like what goes up and doesn't go down whatever that is i do not know then mercy did not get any immunity and prince got immunity not for himself but he has the power to gift that immunity to another housemate and he gifted it to alex yes and they hugged and hugged and hugged um the hug seemed to have lasted for eternity sha. so at the end of the day um both doyin and alex had immunity that was when big brother announced to them that there will be no pardon me please because they've already started plotting about this whole pardon me please since morning yes guys and that was how big brother told them about the nominations that each of them will go into the no diary room and nominate housemate they want to put up for possible eviction now one by one they went into the diary room and it was so annoying yes like you guys have been in that house for like what six weeks you've been in that house before in your previous seasons you know how it works like what is this whole you know coming there doing um emotional whatever whatever before calling people's name wasting our precious time like what is that oh my these housemates are pretty annoying but shout out to the likes of um adekule and ike and doyin who didn't really bat an eyelid and they just called names i mean you were given 30 minutes to prepare and all you could do is to come there and be telling us um 
them. I can't remember which one is you can't remember. Anyways, this is how they um voted. Um, Soma nominated Pere, Mercy, Lucy. Ilebaye nominated Sheyi, Ike, Lucy. Sheyi nominated Angel, Pere, um, Prince. Because we were not told them that they have to nominate three housemates, two from the ones that came into the show when the show started, and one from the house guests. Even though he did not call them house guests, he said the new housemates. Yes, guys. So let me continue. Sheyi nominated Angel, Pere, Prince. Angel nominated Sheyi, Ike, Lucy. Ike nominated Angel, Ile, Baye, Prince. Venita nominated Angel, Ile, Baye, Prince. Cross nominated Ile, Baye, Adekunle, Lucy. Mercy, aka nominated Pere, Adekunle, Lucy. Neo Energy nominated White Money, Ike, Kim, Opera. White Money nominated Sheyi, Adekunle, Prince. Pere nominated Sheyi, Venita, Shouzi. That is a mashallah. Um, Alex nominated Pere Adekunle Shouzi. Adekunle nominated Angel White Money Prince. And Doi nominated Venita Sheyi and Shouzi. Yes, guys. Now, when the house guests came in, of course, you all know they cannot nominate any housemate. But people should just ask them, okay, if you had the power to nominate, who would you have nominated? And um, Kim Opera said she would have nominated Adekunle and Neo. Prince said Adekunle and EK. Lucy said Soma and Angel. Or Mashallah said Lucy and Angel. Now, at the end of the day, Sheyi, Ike, Adekunle, Angel, Pere are all four possible eviction. Yes, Lucy's name was also mentioned, but you all know that Lucy cannot be voted for. So I think what's going to be happening is Lucy might be leaving at the end of this week. Yes, guys. So as it is now, Pere, Angel, Adekunle, Sheyi, and Ike, five of them are the ones you can vote for. Now, remember, you do not want any of your faves to be at the bottom. Make sure you vote because you also know Sheyi has, you know, nine lives. So you, when your fave starts with Sheyi, you better up your votes. If not, now your fave go leave your, Sheyi go still stay for that house. Yes. Now, away from that, let's go back into um the whole doy not speaking Ile Baye for BFF. Yes, guys, I told you that that sparked a lot of, you know, talk on social media. While some people are saying, wow, that's good that they actually applaud her for doing that. Some people are like, Doyin is a two-faced person. Now, listening to both arguments, I can say there's a point in that. Why those people that are saying that Doyin is two-faced, and I'll tell you why I cannot see their point. In the morning, when, you know, before any of this head of house and all of that so doing you know started championing the whole or campaigning for ilebaye to be pardoned now in her own words she said that girl has been through a lot and she deserves a week of rest and she also went ahead to say that she also wants you know to play ilebaye at some point to be upstairs and all of that so she deserves rest and all of that so a lot of people were like wow doing has a good heart and all of that now fast forward you know, to the evening when she won the head of house, Ilebaye was kicked to the curbs. Now, in my own opinion, I feel like she did the right thing because, I mean, she and Ilebaye are no longer friends. Yes, guys, and they've been keeping that same energy since last week. So I can understand why she did not pick Ilebaye. But also, the fact that she even brought up Ilebaye's name again, campaigning for Elebaye to be picked for the same reason why, you know, she would have picked Elebaye for BFF and she did not when she got the opportunity. Don't you see, it's kind of look, making her look some kind of way. I mean, sentiments aside, like, it's just like me saying, oh, I mean, if I had the opportunity, I want this person to get this. Then when I had the power to make that person get that, I didn't. It kind of sounds somehow, I don't know, but yes, um, I kind of like see where those arguments are coming from. But what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section. Yes, guys. Also, Ilibaye had a conversation with Neo where she told Neo that, see, she is not hating on, you know, um, Doin. She's actually very happy that Doin won. We all saw when Doin won, even when she was still standing there, there was a time Ilibaye was like, go Doin or something of that sort. She even clapped. She was happy that Doin won. And she told Neo, see, there's, you know, even before this whole thing, I said, let at least one of us no, not be up for possible eviction, even if one person is going to stand and all of that. She said that had it been doing even called her as a BFF, she would not have accepted it because that would be her, you know, being 
not a truthful person because both of them are already at loggerheads. So I understand where Ileba is coming from. I also understand where Doyin is coming from. I don't know where this is that friendship, if there will be any friendship again between these two people. But honestly, I respect them. Now, away from that, another shocker for me was when Cross nominated Ileba for possible eviction. And I'm like, wow, woo, your kissing partner, where is this coming from? Like, nah, Cross. I mean, how do you go from you know, being in somebody's throat for on Thursday and on Monday nominating the person. Ah, uh, hmm, what are your thoughts? Because for me, you know, to you know, to it, it makes me feel like there's a lot of I don't know, there's fakeness in there. Like, nah, it doesn't it doesn't make sense at all to me. But what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section. Now, for Prince, giving Alex the immunity and not. Um, Ilebaye. Um, honestly, I don't think that there's a case there. I mean, Prince has known Alex from outside of the house, and Ilebaye he just probably met on the screens. So for me, I feel like he did the right thing by giving it to Alex. Where I would have had something to say is if Dora was in the house and he gave it to Alex and not Dora, then I would be like, ah, oh, Prince. But for this one, oh my, where's, where's the, this thing? His loyalty lies first with Alex. It's not like there's anything, you know, special going on between him and Ilebaye. So yeah, I don't understand why some people are like, oh, why didn't Prince? Like, what loyalty? He doesn't owe her nothing. So yeah, that's how I see it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. For me, I wasn't sure surprised when Venita called the labor Yesha because I know he she never liked her at all. So yeah. Um, but it's kind of funny that she um nominated Ilebaye boy ended up having her man Adekule up and not Ilebaye. Now looking at this lineup where we have Shei, Ike, Adekule, Pere, and Angel, who are the two people you think will be going home? Like, it's kind of close, but who are the two people you think might be going home? Honestly, I would say Ike and Shei, if you ask me. But, I mean, seeing that Shei is the cat with nine lives, um, I do not know. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Izzy Williams.